Uh, good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I'm back for a third day <laughs> to read once again, if you haven't joined me, uh, The Reign of David. It's a devotional. And today's topic is God's deliverance. And we'll be reading, um, I have the Women's Destiny Bible, the New King James Version, 2 Samuel 22, verses 38 and 46. Lord, Father God, in Jesus, Yahushua's name, I ask that you be with each and every one of us. Allow our, our hearts to open up to your word and reveal to us the hidden mysteries. Please, Lord, decrease me and Holy Spirit, increase in me. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. I have pursued my enemies and destroyed them. Neither did I turn back again till they were destroyed. And I have destroyed them and wounded them so that they could not rise. They have fallen under my feet. For you have armed me with strength for the battle. You have subdued under me those who rose against me. You have also given me the necks of my enemies so that I destroyed those who hated me. They looked, but there was none to save, even to the Lord but he did not answer them. So David's enemies called out to the Lord and he did not answer them. Then I beat them as fine as the dust of the earth. I trod them like dirt in the streets and I spread them out. For you have also delivered me from the strivings of my people. You've kept me as the head of the nations. A people I have not known shall serve me. The foreigners submit to me. As soon as they hear, they obey me. The foreigners fade away and come frightened from their hideouts. If you have read 2 Samuel 22, you know this chapter is a psalm of thanksgiving. David recognized that throughout his reign, God had delivered his many enemies into his hand. Thanks to God, David had won many battles in his life. He understood that the victory was the Lord's and not his alone. We are able to do what we do because God blesses us. We have what we have because God blesses us. When we are victorious in life, it is because of God. When we lose battles, it is usually because of our selfishness. David praised God for all his blessings and gave God the ultimate glory for the victories in his life. David did not always honor God through his actions. But after some very tough life lessons and true repentance, David finally and fully appreciated who God was and the good that God had done in his life. Psalms 46.1 reminds us, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Just a thought for the day. Do we honor and glorify God in all we do? He deserves it and we know it. Thank you. If you have any comments, just go ahead and put them in the comments. Um, otherwise, you know, take it back to the Lord in your private time. And uh, I don't know, maybe let's start our day off in the mornings. I'm going to just thanking God for breathing breath into our lungs. Because without him, we wouldn't even wake up. In Jesus name until tomorrow, God willing, shalom and blessings.